Uh, there's other elements which appear, uh, apart from the idea of archives, it can be composed of uh, elements which cannot be represented, such as sounds. Uh, there's also the questions of interaction of multiple past and presence and the power of representation, and subaltern claims of opacity. People may not want to be represented in certain ways, in certain spaces, uh, but perhaps we have an intellectual responsibility to register that. So how to register that? The refusal of giving up secrets from certain cultures. But they are there. They insist and persist in the world. So to think about that, uh, as I say, to register the insistence of the unsaid, the unheard, the interval, the cut, the interruption, what bleeds into the accounting of time. Um, and then, of course, the central problematic, which, uh, which has become a, almost an obsession in certain areas, are the archive. Uh, thinking of the archives, the historical space, the cultural construction, political uh, renewal, memories of the future, memories of the future. Uh, the archive is a question of the future itself. Here is Jacques Derrida, the question of a response, of a promise, and of a responsibility for tomorrow. So this is why more about thinking not who we are, but who we uh, might become. And also, of course, this ties into other wider questions of thinking about the political liberal economy, uh, the national crypt or cemetery. I mean, museums grew and developed in the same period in which uh, cities were organized, you know, with burial places, cemeteries, etc. So there's interesting, macabre, but interesting connections to be thought about organizing matter, putting matter in place, what is out of place, uh, what is considered dirt uh, or nonsense. So the national crypt or cemetery is a network of migrating traces and future memories in diasporic tissues, tonalities, and textures. So the archive, not as an instance of accumulation, but rather as a site of the redistribution of memories and futures. Archives as des desiring machines. So archives of others, other histories, other cultures have been negated. It can return to interrupt our understanding, because they are also loaded with the desire to be, to become something, and also to be uh, present in the, making, uh, in the making of a multiple modernity, where, where particular histories may have been negated or denied. And then the second workshop, uh, work package, uh, for which we are responsible, Cultural Studies Info Museum Studies, uh, whose leader will be Tiziana Terranova, who unfortunately cannot be here today, uh, where we'll be working with the University of Newcastle, um, thinking about, as I say, critical pathways through the debates inherited from cultural museum studies as they come to bear on the critical and practical perspectives of the project. Uh, well, again, we just identified some sort of uh, words, themes, which serve to underline certain problematics. There's a lot of debate about museum studies. For the little we've known, we know, as a group in Naples, but we've been reading a lot in the last couple of months, um, about the whole question of the white space. The museum is a white space. Uh, and we were struck by um, the idea of white space, of course, very crudely, but you know, white spaces are, of course, also... Um, ethnocentric, it's all about being white as well, you know, white Europe. Uh, so white rooms, um, thinking about the universal neutrality of power, uh, white people don't have, problem, don't have a color problem, it's the others have a color problem, those are black or brown, white pass for being neutral, hence universal. And in some ways that also becomes part of the art discourse in certain ways. So the University of Neutrality of Power is disciplining offspring and scientific credentials, thinking about white spaces as racializing dispositions and biopolitical uh, environments, where apparently everything is rendered neutral and histories and cultures, particularly of others, are written out of the account, bringing that back into play. Uh, the disposition of collecting and exposing, who collects whom, where and why and how, uh, the assembly of items in the collection requires hierarchies of difference, distinction, and discrimination. So there's also a racializing, a racializing disposition in the liberal economy of the exhibitionary complex. Um, and also thinking about the, 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 these other questions about withdrawing objects from the flux of time. When you put an object into a museum, it's to preserve it, conserve it, um, uh, to render it universal, timeless, uh, but at the same time, uh, apparently you're withdrawing it from the laws of the market, but you return it to the market because you're adding value to it. It becomes something of high esteem, artistic value, like these statues from uh, Adriano's, uh, from Hadrian's villa in Tivoli, uh, hanging over our heads. Um, and so thinking also about museums as mobile spaces, 
Museums and migratory apparatuses with flexible archives, less rooted in the national, we heard this as well, from the playing on roots and roots, less rooted in the national institutional immediacy of the first world and more rooted through planetary complexities that invariably exceed their initial mandate. Because I know this project's all about Europe and rethinking Europe, but we can't rethink Europe without, without uh, locating it within these planetary processes. Planetary processes just managed by planetary... Uh, uh, relations of power and knowledge. Uh, the media, also the media of memory, the idea that uh, there is no memory without a medium. Uh, so the structures, the physical structures and the metaphysical structures uh, that, on which memory depends. This is uh, drawn from a fantastic film by Chris Macker, Saint Soleil. Uh, there is no uh, memory without a medium. Uh, so, and thinking, of course, of technology, the transmission, networking and artworking, networking and artworking in flexible and fluid spaces, the construction communities and the right to opacity as well, the right not to be represented, but to register that right. Uh, and post-representational spaces and grounded socialities. Uh, well, that seems a bit mysterious, but we're going to work on that. <laughs> and then the idea of these spaces, museums and libraries, um, in a post-colonial in a post-colonial configuration um, in all of the Asian migrations as sites of justice. Uh, the idea of registering what has, what has uh, been catalogued, what has been put into the museum, and what has been, in some ways, repressed. Since so we're talking about questions of historical and so social justice, again, who has the right to be represented? Who has the right to be in the museum or in the library and who is excluded. So questions of justice. Translating the mu museum and the library from an abstract space, a seemingly neutral archive into a lived one. Such sites and institution, institutions become less the place of con conservation and of interrogation, proposing less an assumed continuity and more a potential interruption and interval. So an interruption interval uh, asking us to rethink who we are in the light of what this space can produce, what the effective uh, power of these spaces that ask us to look again, think again, listen again, and, and thereby put us into movement. Um, uh, and this, uh, this idea of provoking uh, democratic experiments in social culture and historical justice. And of course, it's the famous quote from our friend Michel Foucault on heterotopias. Um, this idea of this not uh, a utopic space, but a space which is alongside us, which permits us to exit from the contemporary or the existing forms of knowledge, of sense, of common sense, and renegotiate our place within it. So muse museums and these uh, potential libraries as countersites of countersites that permit us to interrupt, interrogate uh, the situation in which we find ourselves uh, operating. Um, and, and this is um, deliverables, networking nodes and knots, uh, and the problems we're going to deal with, how we're going to get uh, these ideas across, in what format. Uh, uh, so, and these are the, this is the sort of time scale we've uh, set ourselves for the, both the uh, public reports think tanks and international conferences which we will be organizing uh, in the city of Naples in the coming years. Uh, these are simply the references, uh, um, the material um, we've referred to in putting together this brief, uh, uh, brief presentation uh, and uh, this is some of the reading we've done because we've had to begin to educate ourselves in museum studies and in the questions of how to think about the contemporary art gallery and art and spaces of contemporary art as well. So um, that's it, I think. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you.